Good morning, Lisbon. <sighs> wow. These windows are gross. Good morning, guys. This is the view from my window. Getting on this cab, this cab driver, driver is pretty wired. He's on autopilot over here. You see I be a morning coach. Eso. La cúpula. La cúpula. Wow. Sí, grande, ¿Qué, eh, qué, ¿Qué hacen ahí? Eh? Plaza de Toros. Oh. ¿Tiendas? No, una no, arena. Oh, de toro. Oh, de toro. Okay, okay. Hola, ¿Has, ¿Has ido? Sí. Yeah. Ahora ven eh, Anastasia. Anastasia ven cantar. Okay. La cantante Anastasia. Ok, qué chulo. El 15 de septiembre. Ok. La Plaza de Toros. Ole. Ole, ole. Aquí, acá en Portugal se pega el toro por los cornos, en España no. Los arquitectos españoles. Tienes que preguntar cuál es la. Hey guys, we're at the bus stop. I'm in Lisbon at the moment. We are going to Fatima, Portugal. We're going to visit a couple shrines out there from the Virgin Mary. According to her appearance in the early 19th century, so we are here with a nice visit, a historical site. Okay, what are what are seats? Four, A, B, C, and three, B. So we're in the bus now. Hour and a half trip to Fatima. Fatima has interesting history. People wouldn't believe that it's named after a, the Muslim uh, daughter of Muhammad, who was kidnapped by a Spanish, uh, a Portuguese or Spanish knight. And uh, she converted apparently to Christianity while she was kidnapped. Some people say it was forced. Some say she actually converted and fell in love with her kidnapper. Then they named that city Fatima because of its Muslim origin. Then uh, Catholic pilgrims take over and then the history starts from there. So it's very interesting to see a mix of culture, a mix of religion. Hey guys, what is up? The bus has left us, dropped us off at Fatima, and we are on our way to the sanctuary. You can see it's straight ahead. So hopefully we get to see a little bit more of the history of this beautiful city. Portugal reminds us of the Dominican Republic. It also has just Mediterranean architecture. One of my favorite things is the terracotta roof. Uh, the terracotta roof is used, you know, primarily in Portugal, Italy, and also in the Dominican Republic, for example, with older structures. And even back home in Allentown, there are a couple houses that have terracotta roofs, which is a, a porous material. It's like a porous kind of stone that they use to, you know, do a really good job at protecting your roof. Walking towards the old basilica behind me is the new basilica. Here is where they have the original chapel inside of the original uh, appearance of the Virgin Mary to the three kids. 
in which one of them became a nun for many years. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of architecture here. As we arrive, there should be a medical center here. There should be an underground structure. And inside is the original chapel that was made with tile, stone, and marble. This seems to be made of copper. This is a wonderful sight. The chapel in Fatima, Portugal is a historical and religious site that has a special place in the hearts of millions of people around the world. Its unique architecture and design combined with its spiritual significance makes it a must visit destination for anyone interested in exploring the history and culture of Portugal as well as those seeking spiritual renewal and inspiration. The chapel in Fatima was built in 1919 following the apparitions of the Virgin Mary to three shepherd children, Lucia dos Santos, Jacinta Marto, and Francisco Marto. According to the children, the Virgin Mary appeared to them several times in 1917 and delivered messages about the importance of prayer, repentance, and the need for peace in the world. After the apparitions, a small chapel was built on this site and it became the place of pilgrimage for people all over the world. We just finished at Fatima. We hope you guys enjoyed the experience with us. It was a really nice piece of history and you know, our beautiful architecture, it was just so peaceful. We are finishing the day eating. This is like a, so it's like a codfish in a, in bread with stuffing in it. It's so good. I think it has potatoes too. It's like fried. It's like, it's like deep fried. It's awesome. Codfish is, is very common here in Portugal. And we're finishing up with Portuguese beer. I guess this is called Sagres. I'm not quite certain. I but love this one. Yeah, we're just going to enjoy the rest of the day. Catch the bus back to Lisbon. See you guys later. Peace. <laughs> So we here we are eating Doritos, but this is chili flavored. This is, I have never seen this in the United States. Let's see what it tastes like. And that's a wrap on our vlog, exploring the chapel in Fatima, Portugal. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour and learning about the history and significance of this beautiful religious site. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Felice Travels, to stay updated on our latest adventures and travel tips or have any travel suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.